Oh, subs. It's the morning of our penultimate day. It's Thursday, Mum. We're going home soon. Yeah. You looking forward to getting back to Shadwell? No, I'm not. What can you smell out here? Describe the smell. It's a sort of sweet, woody, Earth. damp, earthy, Sea. sodden, yeah, mildewy, salty, Ozone. sort of minerally rich, Very almost, soft. Soft. almost like there's a bit of pollen in the air, Softer, soft. soft, luscious. It's like Nanny Di was saying yesterday, there is a huge pagan-like depth, I find, to the very land of Cornwall. Romeo. Oh, wherefore art thou? <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, yes. Romeo, don't have an argument with Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just admiring the Romeo, fact that... Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Romeo, Romeo's eyebrows do belie the fact that he is no longer of young age. <laughs> he is an old, festering 49-year-old. Wishing he was younger. Yeah. It's nice and fresh out. It's fresh. It's sort of salty and sweet. It's beautiful. And it makes me miss my garden, but it also makes me not want to go back to my garden. I just want to be here rolling around in the soil and the substratiness of it all. The garden's lovely, but you don't get that huge Ancient earth, that's a good way to describe it. Ancient earth. I do feel in Cornwall, I mean, the point is, there's ancient earth everywhere, but in London, where, which you can't get more ancient than London, and yet modernity is all over it. So you don't feel the modern, you don't feel the ancient, you don't feel the ancient. The only way, I, the only place I ever feel the ancientness of London is when I look at my dear mum and I see ancient. And wise. And wise. Wise and small. Small and very, very um, angry. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, uh, belligerent? Not a bit belligerent. Very, very un un unrested. Oh. Achy. Achy. Headachy. Yeah. Tired. Oh, you're very sweet, Mum. Are you? Re you're reading the book I recommended on the Sunday show. Have you read your book? Because you're Let's reviewing it this weekend. That I don't know how many. We're not um, pretending you don't know her name, right? Uh, sorry. Yes, my book is all ready for Sunday. Hey, it's looking good. Any of your sprays today? Don't start me off. Any of your sprays? My ears are free. There's my weight. Stops completely. Are you a weather diviner? Subs, don't you think Mark looks well? Point it at yourself. Looks very well at the moment, don't you think? His skin, his eyes, his... What was the other thing I said? Nose. His nose, his ears. <laughs> My lips. No, everything, you, you look very, very healthy. Do I? Yeah. I feel ancient. I look quite healthy, actually. You do look well, yeah. I've got a terrible you need a bit more sun, you. have you? Yeah. I've got enough sun Those marks yesterday. have gone on your cheeks a bit, haven't they? They were the mask. Yeah, they haven't quite gone there, have they? <laughs> <laughs> so you... So you think you're very, your, your thought processes are very obvious to me. I know, Nadia says that. She can yes. see the thought as it crosses my face. When I'm down, they, she says you can see that you're down. Yes. I'm just there uploading a vlog. So for any of you that watched um, all the stories um, a couple of years ago when me and all the loose women went to Ibiza and we played the murder mystery game. So that's what we are doing. Everybody's just pulled the person they're going to murder, the location in which they're going to commit the murder and the weapon. Such a good game. Three pots, one pot all the names, second pot locations, third pot weapons. And what we all have to do, so say I had Maddie in the kitchen with a ladle, I would have to get Maddie in the kitchen, give her the ladle, and then if she took the ladle from my hand, she would then be the murderer. No, she would then be murdered, and I would win that point. So, and you play it over a few days, so we're gonna be playing it over the next few days. Oh God, your propensity for laughing at <laughs> Even tragic things oh, is ridiculous. Mark just got me. I said, listen, you can. I said, everyone always thinks that. She goes, it's impossible to tell her what, tell him. Tell them what you've got. Sally, with a can of Pepsi. 
in my bathroom. <laughs> Are you laughing at hysterical? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's impossible. You could be arrested. Listen, exactly. listen, listen. <laughs> it's actually very easy for you because you have the authorities and that. Sally, yeah, can you pause this? Talk? Can you give this to Mark? She wouldn't, she wouldn't say no to you because you're older. You can use age. It's terrible. She'd go into her Christine mode. You can hit everything. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> where are you? Ah, ha, ha, ha. You're in a room. Ha, 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 ha. 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 Ha, ha, are we explain the game to them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mark, I feel is 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 is, is going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. therefore, I don't want to get in the front seat with him in the car. But I've just been told it has to happen in the house. All right. So. Well, no. Not and necessarily. Mark's and out. Yeah. No, no. The locations were here. Locations. Yeah, the locations that we're in. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know, I haven't looked at all the locations. That's very true. <laughs> I've got no way of knowing. I've got even less way of knowing. We've had that very well, I think. You seamlessly, you suddenly realised that you were so... Give us some salt, pepper. Yeah. Oh, it's all the marmal. Yeah, it's about you. Don't you take this in this scenario. Especially after you tried to drown me 20 times in the pool. In this scenario, it's a family holiday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It makes it, it's not like, it's not good for the ethos of the family. Mum, you look even... Get away from me, get away from me. Mum, you, so you look even shorter talking to Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> he looks even shorter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's picked back by things to hand him. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's one thing, isn't it? Absolutely. So fine. Yeah. 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 I'm just laughing because you look so scared of me. I'm I'm not I'm not you. Put the camera down. <laughs> I just oh, offered nice. you a ginger nut and you told me to fuck off. Well, no. <laughs> What's happened to you, Mum? This game, this game has had a terrible said, effect on you. As one of the subs says, I don't think Nanny dies, the quiet, polite little nanny we sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I've only just discovered that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so right. So so do you think it's good that the children swear, swear at Nanny dies? Nanny dies. Somebody underneath said, one. somebody underneath said, did you see last week's vlog? <laughs> When Nanny Di shouts into Maddie's face. <laughs> exactly! So Nanny Di is now so suspicious of Mark that she's she refusing she to sit even, she in even, the front seat and is like, But she won't even pick things up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mum, that's not the point. You have to be given something. All right, I, I get that. that. <laughs> Look at the doves, guys. <laughs> she's trying to calm herself. <laughs> Mum, yes. no. take those for Shut me. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that's a typical Mark thing to to keep to do it immediately after we we've done the thing, and then to do it all smiley smiley. I don't mean it. I'm not a bad person, really. And then to go for the jugular. <laughs> <laughs> He's got murder in his eyes. Murder in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's enjoying this a bit too much. Oh, yeah. I still see you as Albert. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with empty conversations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to see you as Nanny that Di again. Most... At least you've stayed insult. sober. To me. Why do I look so huge compared to you? <laughs> you've always wanted to be tall, Mads. Look at you now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oh, the about. So we've moved on now, and Nanny Di has reached new levels of paranoia about Mark's imminent. Yeah, I might not even have you. Murder. Yeah, I don't think he does. You just don't know. You never know. That's the beauty of this game. Um, so she's now worried that he's going to hurl her out of the car, and, ram and then she's going to ram branches in her mouth, <laughs> which at no point. Have and we mentioned this is something that would happen in this game? And so that's to, true. And you would have to take sounds, something from his yeah, hand. Yeah. He might have a branch secreted in his back pocket. <laughs> so <laughs> then, <laughs> <laughs> so 
I think a first aid kit might be more feasible. Where's he the might... first aid kit? Well, no, he might throw her out of the car, she lands on the side, and then he would hand her a first aid yeah, yeah, kit. But, but we don't have a first aid kit. <laughs> we have. Yeah. Keep an eye on your pills, Mum. They might disappear. Don't and then, you get near uh, my pills, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then I might hand you a packet of paracetamol <laughs> and you won't be able to say oh, no. Or you know, oh, we need a big them. bumper pack of paracetamol. Yes. There's no way. Oh, we say, take this now or we're throwing it in yeah, the fire. Yeah. And I need paracetamol. And you'll be sweating <laughs> and off, shaking. Nan's probably better off dying in this game rather than living I think I am. I think you need to just die. Mm. I think in a minute I'm going to let Mark kill me. What happens <laughs> if I you just... You don't know if it's... No, no, exactly. If I relax and take the next thing he offers me off him... But Mark... And it's not him. What's I going to do? <laughs> well, not necessarily, because no, he, he still be might be trying to confuse you. The thing that isn't the thing that will kill Very true. Very true. But Mark, the law you of averages... You may be lulling you into false sense of security. The law of averages, yeah. it's more than likely that someone in this car does have you as their victim. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> So she was fiddling around and I went, oh, I'll give you that. Let's reenact it. As soon as I, as soon as I. This is what was happening. So go on, Mark. She went, give us your money. I haven't got. Yeah, no, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Dead. Marta. She's Marta. That's dead. Is it dead? Can be. Well, that's perfect. I saw right. you when pull a toilet really roll out of your pocket. I thought, that's the fucking murder weapon. Yeah. Because I wrote it. In a car. I wrote it. Whoa. Can I have that toilet roll back, please? <laughs> right, so when we get back, don't tell the girls. Just say she's been... Oh, no, I told them. Because she got no money. Where are you going no. with our toilet roll? Oh. I, oh, went to oh, Kiki. I heard Kiki you call went. out. I and need Kiki a toilet went. roll. And Kiki went... Don't take our toilet roll. We haven't got any toilet rolls. I said, I need it. She goes, what for? I said, I've got to murder Nanny Die with it. She went, why? Because she forgot we were oh. doing the game. <laughs> oh, she thought you were going to actually murder. Well, that no, was she all she said. going to do something horrible to her. Oh. Mum, how relieved do you feel? I feel very relieved. And also, but also she's very mendacious and, and terrible because she lulled me into a false sense of security. <laughs> I know. By being a friend over my... I know. See, Does that mean I've still got the problem? Me. You've still got to kill someone. Oh, shit. But you don't have to die now. No. That's true. That's true. This way, guys. So that was worth the price of the admission. Oh just gosh. for Nanny Dye's stress paranoia and disbelief and now she's going through absolute relief that she's off the hook and we're heading... I, I, in a way i didn't want to do it that soon because i was so enjoying being yes. terrified of you but, but it could have ruined her holiday it was, it, yeah she the fine got so line. stressed and she might have eventually gone i'm not playing yeah because she can be a bit of an i'm not playing person yeah she could turn you around there's a very old chap with a moustache <laughs> Yeah. Moustache, yes. Yeah.
yeah. yeah. yeah. Shoes come off. It's a bit like it's somebody made. Oh, it's, it's like, like a, a throne. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, look, that must be the back of the boat. Yeah. Go through there, oh I see. That's where they came out. Through the cave too. Time for it. Even on a grey day, it's so beautiful. Look, you still get bits of turquoise and green. See, what's that there, Mark? That island. Okay. Daddy Di, tell Mark, tell us what you're just telling me about sea. No I think he knows this, don't you? That you can't just call a girl a girl, you have to call it it's either a herring girl or a backpack girl. Or, yeah. Yeah. Because it means nothing otherwise. Yeah. It's just a generic name. So the big white ones that nick your chips, they're not herring. just. No, they're um, herring girls. Oh, yeah. Mum, it's like life after death, isn't it? It is. That is the thing, isn't it? Where I feel reborn. Yeah. Oh God, but the thing that really gets me is that Nadia was really kind to me and she gave me hope. Not hope, but she gave me help. And I thought, well, it can't be her because she's been so helpful. Who was her? I don't know, I'd rather just help her. <laughs> oh, Victorian person. It's a Victorian harbour built in Victorian times. Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. I do love the war. I love the formality of it, don't you? Yeah. It is very, um, it's very French simple, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I absolutely love Mullion. It's one of those Mullion Cove. It's one of those strange places where I feel a huge peace, even though it's actually quite an incredibly dangerous harbour because the sea waves come right over here, land on you, take you out into the water, spin you out. So we've been coming here for a few years, and there's been a few accidents here over the years. But there's something, again, incredibly primal about this place. I just love it. Absolutely love it. We nearly went and forgot you. <laughs> you probably did. I'm so, I'm so sad because we, we could have just gone and then you would have just been standing there. Well, I started, even in that, I don't know how long you were, but it seemed a long time. So I was thinking, I wonder if he did say to stay there until he comes back, or maybe he didn't say that at all. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, you. Gotcha, hey, they shouldn't be included. It was gotcha. too easy. It was Nadia in the kitchen no. with the kettle. It was actually really hard, actually, because I was thinking, at no point have I ever handed you a kettle. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's and in the I was kitchen. a bit annoyed when you handed me. I know, I could tell you were resisting. I was thinking. It at me. I was like, <laughs> You're dead. I forgot that game was You're dead. Oh, exactly. That's how it works. People forget. See, Do why the strike? Right when the island, yeah, you know, we let people forget. Yeah. Do you know what's really sad? I've been kidding? thinking about that ever since we left. <laughs> I put the kettle there, yeah. thinking that as soon as I come in, I'll come over oh. here, distract her with a photo. <gasps> oh, <wait. laughs> thank you, thank you. I thought Patrick would uh, appreciate that. I appreciate it. <laughs>